We are destroying some uh, illegal nets which were impounded when we did the uh, enforcement in the lake. As we know, Kenya Fisheries Service mandate is to conserve, manage and develop the fisheries resources in the country. So this activity that we are doing here, we have been undertaking uh, regional enforcement of uh, regulations under the Ecofish program or project, which is funded by the EU. And this activity was undertaken in the three East African countries of Kenya, Uganda, and uh, Tanzania. As you know, Lake Victoria is a riparian, uh, is a transboundary lake, and uh, the activities were synchronized. So in Kenya, we started this activity on the third of this month, and so far, all the riparian counties in Lake Victoria have been covered. So we did both what we call land enforcement and water enforcement. And in Homa Bay, where we are today, we did both land and water enforcement, in which a number of illegal fishing gears were confiscated. By illegal, I mean that these are fishing gears that are not allowed by law. And for some reason, it's like fishermen are using them, thereby destroying the resource. So our mandate, which is to conserve, we work very closely with them to ensure that whatever they put in the lake is what is legally allowed so that we conserve the resource. When I talk about MCS, monitoring, control and surveillance, the monitoring bit is done by Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute. They are the ones who do the research and they tell us exactly what is in the lake, how the stocks are going down based on the sizes of the fish which are being landed, the total biomass and all that. So we know that things are not good in the lake through the research that is done. Then us, we are in the management bit, so we come and enforce. And of course, working together with other offices. We want to restore Lake Victoria back to its lost glory, what it used to be before. Whereby you'll see a fisherman landing fish and you're also proud as a fisheries officer to see the kind of landings they are bringing. Every fish is supposed to be a responsible fisherman fishing, following the due process of the law. Breeding grounds must be protected. It's from there that the stocks in the lake are replenished. Using legally accepted fishing gear so that we sustain the incomes here, so that we sustain the livelihoods here. And so, as a government, we, we are very keen on ensuring that the fishery resources in this lake are used prudently to give us the economic benefits desired now and in the future. Let us remember this. Kenya has only 6% of this lake. Only 6%. The larger part is shared between Uganda and Tanzania. Yet, it is the most important also fishery in this country. Employing hundreds of thousands of households. Their incomes and livelihoods are coming from there. School fees for children, food, Fresh fish, much desired proteins in households. So the, the fishing activity here, and we want all the fishers to understand, the fishing they are doing here is not just simple fishing. It is a very important, it has a very important role to play in the economic life of this country. Kenya Fisheries Service is one of our is, is our enforcement arm that enforces fishery regulations to provide for responsible fishing so that we can sustain these economic benefits and the good that we are accruing as a country from this sector. It is true that uh, for some time now, the fishery has been going down. When I look at uh, last year's uh, statistics, a uh, homobay that used to realize uh, something in the region of 100,000 metric tons is now recording just 40,000. In fact, it is 39,000 metric tons. That shows you that uh, the resource is dying. And uh, it is emphasized that we must come up, support this exercise. Mine is to loud the effort and uh, to be responsible citizens, to protect the resource because it is for our good and our children.